Hole oh, number one, you guys wanted to see it, the monsters here. What's up, Chris? How you doing? I'm doing good, Alfred. How are you? Oh my goodness, this boat is absolutely stunning, dude. I am so, so impressed. I want to jump on here and just have you show me everything, Chris. Chris, can you give them a little bit of background of what you do for Pursuit real quick so they know? Yeah, my name is Chris Gratz. I'm the Vice President of Engineering for Pursuit. Been with Pursuit for about 15 years. And, and uh, we're aboard the all-new 428, uh, most powerful Pursuit built to date, also the flagship of the Pursuit line. So really excited to show it to you guys this afternoon. All right, so let me jump on board. And uh, I guess, listen, just show along the way some of the features that you think a lot of the people who might be interested in a, a boat like this, they can find out. So let's, let's get started. So uncompromised functionality is really the core focus back here in the cockpit. You can see the way we've got it configured right now. Fantastic platform for fishing. Best in class space in terms of length and beam. Twin live wells, 36 gallons on either side. A nice 70 gallon wrapped coil refrigerator freezer uh, here on the transom. So nice. great, great features back here for fishing. Um, and then we also provide, we're the only ones to be able to provide the ability to convert this cockpit Oh, nice. With the push of a button, we can reallocate the space. We've got a beautiful app mezzanine seat here, so you can watch your spread while you're fishing. You can also just use it for casual social and entertaining. Um, you've got a nice work surface here. Uh, serves as a nice rocket launcher type scenario. All with the touch of this button right here. That is correct. And then, with a couple quick conversions, now you've got a really comfortable uh, forward-facing seat that's behind the weather protection of the windshield, so I can sit five facing forward here, um, which is a really great feature. That is but awesome. You would have never thought boat, that was there. When you're not running the boat, you don't need to use that, and you don't need to waste the space. So you just go ahead, press the button back up, and you're ready to go. And now you're ready to go again. That's pretty sick, guys. That is, that's extremely, extremely functional. Crazy. So I know you have a lot to, to do with that, right? So how, how, how much time on the computer did you have to, to <laughs> take the picture? I don't even want to count the hours. There's a ton of time that goes into something like that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to let people know that that stuff doesn't happen without a lot of work in the back. That is correct. And the, the awesome thing about you don't see anything. You don't see any tracks on the deck. You don't see any of that mechanism. It all happens behind the scenes. And that's what's really exciting about that. I'll tell picture. you, a lot of people are going to be really excited about that. So, so let's let's i mean we're right here uh, uh, uh on the rear of the boat we we have these quad 425s i mean i'm assuming you got families and fishing uh families that like to purchase this type of boat right that's correct for sure so where are we where do we have our live wells and what 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 how many gallons do we have on the live wells while we're back here and then we start working yep so we've got insulated oceana blue 36 gallon live wells on either side here serve all your bait needs you've got same one on the other side you've got two nice uh, fish boxes in the floor um, we do molded foam it's three and a half inches for solid ice retention you've got a nice deep fish box here yeah definitely want to show that because i want them to see that there you go and then the great feature about the fish box on the other side is that that's a wrapped coil box as well uh, with deep insulation so you can actually refrigerate or freeze that box uh, nice. as well. You have access to your bilge right here in this center compartment here? Yes, we do. Is and this equipped with a Sea Keeper, Chris? It is. It's got a Sea Keeper 6. Sea Keeper 6. Guys, a Sea Keeper, what essentially is, is it's a gyro. And, uh, wow, so clean. You know, the nice thing from standing here at the deck, I can see every single strainer. I can see if there's any issues. I can see every single pickup. I can see all my fuel system. And then when I come down on the two steps, oh, I nice. can even pull my batteries out for service on Easy. the nice Easy. Easy. Wow. wow, that's so sick. How much time are we on this computer? <laughs> a long time. And we got a fantastic engineering team at Pursuit that makes so, all this stuff so happen. So I see I see even more interesting stuff back here. So so do we have another chair that, that, that becomes a seat back here also while you're not fishing? We do. So right now it's stored. You don't have to worry about the cushions. You know, it's, it's very utilitarian for the cockpit. But then when we fold that out, now we've got a nice, nice seating surface here um, on the transom. Very comfortable spot to ride. 
hits you very high on the back, so you feel very secure. Built-in grab rails here, um, very comfortable spot. That's, believe it or not, that's a small detail, but it's huge because it makes somebody feel really, really comfortable when this boat's going how fast? Top uh, speed, what do we got? It's right at 60 miles an hour. 60 miles an hour, guys. Yeah. With these, now, if somebody wanted to put, you know, quad Mercury's on these guys, what what uh, what performance are you seeing with those, the uh, 450s? Yeah, we, we from from the Pursuit Factory, the uh, quad 425 Yamahas are the only option you can get on the boat. Okay, great. So so let's start w walking up a little bit forward, and we'll, we'll end back here, because I see we have a sure shade and a nice, you know, T-top, but I definitely want to see what we got going forward so they can see some of this. You know, really think the helm speaks for itself. Uh, beautiful layout, uh, really nice finishes. You know, everything from the nice hand stitching on, on the visor, 22 inch Garmin screens, a really precise layout that's really ergonomic, makes it very nice to run the boat. We've got Yamaha's new Helmmaster EX uh, uh, control system on the boat, which is fantastic. Seakeeper display. You know, even down to the Yamaha uh, controls are all have uh, blue blue accent lighting, so our helm carries the same lighting even down to all the labels on the switching are all backlit and blue too. This is very, very nice. And I feel that cold AC guys, AC coming out of here. Really, really nice. Tell yeah, me a little bit about the these. AC up into the lumbars of the seat so that when you're sitting in this seat there's a vent behind each one of these and it blows up into your back. I'm going to say it again, Chris. How much time? <laughs> I want to count it. I'm telling you. Uh, so uh, you have access here um, to go to, to, to the top of the T-top, right? We do. Um, and you, I'm assuming you have an option to go ahead and have a tuna tower on this guy. We do. We do have a uh, factory uh, tower option that's available. You know, just this detail alone, um, we probably spent about four to six weeks mocking this up, uh, making scaled, uh, scaled um, replicas of this so that we could feel how it works and, and design the ergonomics. So you'll notice I've got integrated grab rails that alternate as I go up. The second I come through, I've got boat structure on the outside of me, so I feel very secure. If I'm in any kind of sea condition or there's any roll, I feel very good getting up to the hard top. Yeah, because you can just put your back on there, hold on to a rail up there, and you're good. I've got a rail, my hand on a rail, and I'm barely even through the T-top. And then when I'm coming down, you'll notice this step is visible from the top. So okay. we've all done the whole fish your foot thing, yeah. and that's not very fun or very secure. So here, you can see your steps, and it's very easy to come up and down. And then with a quick slide, it's closed, and I'm back down on the working deck. Like it wasn't even there. I, I'm going to call this video, how much time, Chris? How much time? <laughs> I guess that's our theme. So this looks like it, 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 it modifies or adjusts, or, or no? These. Yeah, so again, just having, having the ergonomics that are comfortable with running the boat. So you know, when you're up here on the helm seat, you've got a nice, uh, nice footrest position. This is also vertically adjustable. I can lower this helm seat, but then, you know, for uh, for those that are shorter, maybe, I saw it. maybe younger people in the family or friends that are running the boat, now you've got two heights you can operate the boat from, so you can always maintain good sight lines and visibility and feel secure running the boat. So that wasn't a dig at me, right, just in case? Uh, no, Chris, certainly not. Just want to make sure we're not calling me, you know, five, eight and a half. Had, hadn't even crossed. I don't have no shoes on, man. I'll tell you, I, you made me take off my shoes. I normally gain two, three inches. So, so tell me about this windshield. What do we got here? Well, the windshield is excellent. You know, from the exterior profile, it's got a really nice rake to it. A really good, good look. Makes the bat boat look fast, even when it's standing still. But then, actually, this four glass is laminated, so it's like your car. It's actually got an inner layer in it. You, you cannot break the glass, just like the windshield in your car. But what that does when you're running the boat, you got your polarized sunglasses on, it's optically clear. You don't see any distortion or any heat patterns from thermal tempering, so it's really, which, really which nice happens. feature. A lot. A lot. Yep. Um, so let's let's go to the bow of the boat and see what's going on here because I'm already, I'm already just with what I've seen. I'm already super intrigued to see what the center console inside that cabin looks like. <laughs> I mean, so I see a lot of space, a lot of comforts up here. Can you talk about this area? Sure can. We got a few tricks up our sleeve here as well. So. You know, we've got a really open bow, very functional, nice side decks as we came up. Um, if you're fishing the bow, you can walk all the way up to the bow combing. Uh, you can handle your ground tackle from here as well. But then at the same time, if you want to use this for more social, more of a, a, a lounging type scenario, you can sit two facing forward on this lounge very comfortably. 
Um, it's a sculpted lounge. It's sunken into the, the forward part of the console. You know, maintains clear sight lines for the driver. It's got built-in grab rails even under these armrests. But then if you don't want to sit, sit lounge this, this far back, you can actually adjust the inclines of these backrests, which is a fantastic feature. And then, if you don't want to have people sitting at different heights and you want to have, you know, six, seven adults or whatnot sitting around the front end, you can take this forward cushion and now you've got a very comfortable seat that's now at the same level that you're sitting and we can plug in our cocktail tables or tables up here and, and have a nice time up in the Speak, balance. Speaking of that, so, that, so where I was actually just stepping, we can, we can put your tables there if you want to just have a couple drinks and hang out. Correct. There's two tables that go right in these nice. sockets right here. Is there storage under these cushions here? Yeah, so we've got an insulated cooler under this one. Nice. We've got an insulated cooler under this one. I love the fact that you guys have those grab rails also all along the boat. And then obviously another insulated cooler under this one as well. Now, I would say this is, this is a great boat for small children because there's no way they're going to go... I mean, what, what height do we have here along the sides? Yeah, you've got a nice secure combing height. It's about waist level on us right here. You've got grab rails that run all the way thwart ship. And then, you know, a lot of the boats with taller sun pads or different things up in the bow, you know, kids can sit up here. They're sitting in the boat. There's nice uh, grab rails on either side, so you don't have to worry about them being secure when you're running with, with them up here as well. And this shade that we got over us right now, is that something that you guys can just slide off, or how does that work? Yeah, so these, these poles, um, you pop the string, you take the shade off, quick 90 degree turn, all the poles come off, and then you're, you're, you're good to go. So very easy conversion for the forward med shade. Nice. So let's walk over here. I see some, some, some glass here that obviously gives a nice visual, and I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, don't, don't, I, I know how much time, I know how much time, but I'm assuming <laughs> when we're in that cabin, we're gonna see the water. I think you're correct in oh that one. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'll tell you. I know this, this, you made this boat for you. <laughs> and then another nice thing, even when we're up here, we're sitting in this lounge seat, you can watch the water break, you can watch things going on. Even back at those helm seats, you can see, see what's going on outside the bow of the boat, All which right, is guys. pretty hey, cool. Hey, smash I like for Chris, man. Uh, this thing is absolutely sick. Are you guys, are you guys ready to come into brand new hole number one? They ain't ready, Chris. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So tell me, what do we got in here? We got lots of space down here, lots of natural light, so you really have a nice open feel. Makes the volume feel really good down here. Um, you've got really comfortable accommodations as well. Um, you've got lots of nice storage from you know the integrated lockers to the integrated drawers. We've got storage behind all these backrests. It's really easy to access um, all the way around the perimeter of the boat. Um, this is the only center console that I'm aware of with a converting berth, so these cushions actually pull inboard, meet in the middle, and now you've got a nice wide berthing area here uh, that converts very simply if you want to do it overnight in the boat. Um, even down to taking advantage of every nook and cranny, we've got nice drawer storage here. Well, with drawer storage, so it's nice, uh, you can access it from the top and see what the storage is even when the table's in place or even uh, while you're up here in the space, so that's great too. And I see that you have a separate head in there as well. Yeah, it's got a very nice head compartment. And I'll get in there now. If you want, just step out real quick, and I'll go ahead and show that so they can see a visual on that, Chris. Let me get in there real quick so they can get a different perspective once I go in there. I see you have a little microwave over here as well. Let me go ahead and show this guy. So I, I definitely notice a lot of headroom in here, Chris. Yes, sir. And this AC is kicking. <laughs> it's, it's a nice Very reprieve down here today, for sure. Very nice. So let's see that view that we were talking about, guys. And there it is. So you're out in the water, hanging out in this AC. And I see that there's even more light up here as well. That's correct. We've got skylights. They open actually into the main salon as well as the head. So they open up as well? Uh, no, the, oh. the light opens oh, up. Excuse oh, okay. me. Yeah. Okay, I was like, wow, yeah. you guys thought of it all, <laughs> for real. And I see that you have more storage down here as well. 
and you also have your panel here. Yep. Great spot for your main distribution panel. Um, I can even access these controls without coming into the cabin, so it's a nice reach from up top. And then if I am down, I'm starting to power up the boat for the first time. It's a good spot. I can actually take a quick seat here. I can get the boat configured how I want from a power standpoint and then be off and running. What are we looking at as far as fuel capacity on this guy? Uh, we've got 547 gallons on board. So at a 3,500 RPM cruise, where you'd be doing about 31 and change miles per hour, you'd be getting 0.7 miles per gallon, and that translates to a range with reserve at about 351 miles. Wow, okay, good. Um, and and w w what are we looking at as far as beam? Uh, we're 13 feet on the beam. 13 yep. feet, so, so tradable, not, not gonna happen? Not so much, this is an escorted load type of beam. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish up outside so we can go ahead and kind of discuss a couple of other things before we get out of here. But guys, don't forget to smash that like because these boats here, pursued, this is hull number one, right? This is this is. is the very first one. Is this boat per, uh, sold or uh, have this, you sold your boat yet? <laughs> We've sold a lot of these boats. This particular one actually stays with engineering and stays with the factory for a while. <laughs> That's the toy. That's yeah. the toy, guys. You deserve it. It was many hours, many hours. <laughs> All right, so, so let's talk about some things that obviously people can rig them up however they want, and you can go as far as you want when it comes to pricing and all that stuff. We all know that, uh, Chris. As this boat sits with what we've shown them, and I, and I know there's a lot more to show. Trust me, there is. I know that. But uh, that, that'll be you, your job to, to explain and talk to people after the fact. I just want to get the eyes on the boat. What are they looking at for price points as far as the way that this is showing right now? What are we looking at? Yeah, uh, as we're, we're showing it here at the show, as equipped here on this hull, uh, it's right about 1.1 million. So that's including your Seakeeper 6, it's including all the Garmin electronics and everything else we walk through. 1.1, guys. Make it happen. Listen, Chris, I want to go ahead and congratulate you on a fantastic job. This boat looks incredible. I'm glad that my subscribers told me, Alfred, get on the brand new Pursuit because you know what? I just saw a monster that I wanted to see. So thank you. Congratulations, and uh, I guess you got to do it now with another one. So you know, those we'll hours are going to have to start on another video. We'll, we'll work on that <laughs> one. Anything else that we should walk and talk about while, while we're here? Uh, we've got a fantastic line. You know, we've got a pretty much full breadth of line. We've got dual consoles. We've got sports at every size that are configured similarly to this boat. We've got dual consoles, and we've even got offshore and cabin boats. So we've got a fantastic line that stretches pretty much as far as our eye can see standing right here in the cockpit. But, th but this is the flagship. This, this, this is, is, this is yours. Yep. Oh, we know it's yours. We know it's yours. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Listen, uh, call me after the show. We'll take a, we'll take a, a spin on it. Maybe we'll do a sea trial. Sounds good. We're going to make it happen, guys. Over here, Pursuit, guys. Incredible boat. Absolutely fantastic, man. What a monster. All right, Chris, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.